When I woke up this morning, there was a snake wrapped around my feet. Thick and black, glossy, an indigo snake, my favorite kind. The largest snake in North America. My feet and the snake were tangled up in a blanket. When I reached for it, it didn't move. My hand hovered in the air over its head as the snake looked up at me with shining black eyes. I slept on a painter's floor last night. This guy has filled his basement apartment with pets and he doesn't believe in cages. Birds fly around the kitchen and perch on the counter eating crumbs. Lizards scatter as you walk through the living room. I watched him paint until long after midnight. Then I grabbed a blanket and lay down on his floor, watching creatures skitter around underneath his bed. I don't know how the snake wrapped itself around my feet without waking me. Snakes are so much cooler than birds and lizards, though. <coughs> I put my hand out behind its head so as not to startle it and wrapped my fingers gently around its neck. My hand closed into a fist and dropped onto the blanket. I froze, flooded with adrenaline. There is no snake. I'm looking at it. It isn't there. My mind raced. I wondered if my mother dropped acid while she was pregnant with me. Maybe it was now just kicking in. A moment of cellular flux, some chemical shift within the permeable membrane that is my physical self, and my brain invents a snake. Panicking, I worked to understand. I flashed on the hippies and all they had seen that wasn't there. They seemed happy enough, but they were high. I looked down at my hand. The snake was still there staring at me. I could see my hand and the snake taking up the same space. I was burning, felt like I was gonna throw up. My skin all flushed and prickly, so I lowered myself back down on the blanket, my heart thudding. I looked down at my feet, only blankets and toes. Arrest the boy born between the eyes as he jackknifes into winter. Disease is done to me. Arrest the boy that he seed with the 
song in his heart as he rides through the winter. See what this disease has done to me